Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new release preview video for you. Today we have 2022 Panini Absolute and we're doing this entire case. There's not a whole lot of cards in the case. There's only 10 cards per pack, two packs per box, so 20 cards per box. This will be a relatively quick rip of this case, so I figured well, let's just do it in its own standalone video. So thanks very much for joining us. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing as we do videos every single day. Got some really good things coming up with the 100 packs silver, uh, 100 packs of the silver packs from 2022 Top Series 2. I think we're going to go live tonight and try to build the set from one single box of Series 2 Jumbo. And, uh, Probably also tomorrow I'll have auction, so lots of good stuff. Here's the boxes of Absolute. I guess we'll just lay them out on the screen here. You can see that Albert Pujols is on the front. Of course, you'll notice, some of you at least will notice that there's no logos or anything on the jerseys there. That's just the way Panini does things if you're new to the hobby. They don't have the rights to the jerseys. But there we go. Everything's all laid out. We'll go ahead and start ripping these right now. You're going to see, by the way... There's going to be lots of hits in this product. There is a grand total of two autographs and two relics per box. So lots of hits coming our way. Let's see what we can find right now. By the way, this is kind of a little bit reminiscent of Diamond King. So we'll have the older players mixed in with the newer players on the checklist. We'll go right now, box number one, and get this started up. William, good luck to you. By the way, if you'd like to sponsor a video like this one, check us out on Patreon. It is... $4.99 a month gets you access to all of our breaks. Looks like I have a little piece of tape on that. There we go. I was like, wow, time for a new box cutter all wet ready. All right, so here's our packs. They are more or less mini boxes. When you take them out of there, there's going to be one autograph per box. So lots of extra packaging to go through. All right, William, here we go. First pack up. Let's see there's Babe Ruth on the back. Probably going to be one autograph and one relic in each and every one of these little mini boxes today. Here we go. Let's flip them over. We've got Joey Votto on the front. Bartolo Colon, and oh boy, it is a redemption to start things off. And it's Tuca Pita Marcano is our first one. Marks of Fame. So that's insert. And actually, that's not that bad. So we have an autograph inserted, and now we have another autograph inserted. It's Jaron Duran, so two autographs, a double relic numbered out of 109, and another one. So a bonus relic, Camilo Doval, out of 149, so a nice little bonus right there. I thought for a minute that uh, you are going to be kind of stuck with the redemption, but they, they made it up to you. So here's the design for Absolute. You'll check out the backs. Just a little paragraph on the back, nothing too exciting if you're a stat guy. Personally, I always like looking at the stats on the back of cards, but it seems like anymore, the only place you get that at is just Topps Flagship. All right, here we go with William's second box. Pretty nice, you got three hits there. Let's hope it's not going to be just one hit here. We'll see. Now, Panini always does say it's on average, two hits per box on average or whatever, and uh, sometimes you get more. Usually it's more. There's out of 99, Andre Jackson. That's going to be a relic number out of 299. AJ Alexi out of 199. And another one. What is going on with this box? It's a booklet. A rookie baseball booklet from Jake McCarthy out of 99. So look at that. We have a booklet there. So that's pretty exciting. I love getting booklets. I think they're very, very nice. Kind of tough to you know store you got to get a super thick top loader for it i guess or you could just put it on display there's a tatis out of 89 there's the only picture that exists apparently of shoeless joe jackson every time i see panini use his image for a card it's literally always that image on every single card but anyway box number one is in the books let's move on to box number two this one is for jack good luck to you jack let's see what we can find for you in our second box of this preview video. There's the mini packs. I guess I, I guess I'll just slice them both right now just to save a little bit of time. All right, here we go. Got Throwback Thursday coming up for you this week. Again, I'm going to go and do 2015 Chrome Jumbo. I did 2014 Chrome Jumbo last week, so we'll just move up a year. There's Ozzy Albies. He just, uh, man, just got hurt yesterday foot fracture joe ryan nice rookie auto right there and by the way it's a booklet a joe ryan 
booklet red signature so not a bad one right there and oral hershizer out of five there we go oral hershizer who has the all-time single season record for the most consecutive innings pitched out of five that is a nice one don't ever don't really ever see oral hershizer autos in cole tucker out of 99 is the relic by the way tucker was just dfa'd last week and picked up by the diamondbacks so we'll see how he does in his new confines there out at chase field all right, so nice Oral Hershey's in there for Jack. Let's see what else we can find. This particular pack feels a bit thicker. So maybe another booklet. Jack already has a Joe Ryan booklet. And wow, look at all that action going on in there. It's booklet mania, I think. We got Kevin Smith, a rookie material. Seems like Jack finds a lot of Kevin Smith cards. We have a Jake Myers and another booklet. This one is Luis Frias. What's up with the booklets in this? I don't remember him being this common three booklets already if you include the joe ryan signature sammy sosa rookie class card right there and yadier molina it's a booklet bonanza here from absolute let's continue on to box number three this next one is going to be for Dellen. just get your card here it's sticking to that other one Dellen, spot number three i guess i can move these up a little bit give myself a little more space Alrighty, box number three of this case break. We're doing the entire case of these. If you'd like to grab these, I believe they're about 165 before tax and shipping on Steel City and the blowout cards. And of course, as always, you'll probably be able to find them for a little bit cheaper in your local card store because they get those pre-order prices they lock in sometimes six to nine months in advance. All right, Dylan, here we go. First pack up. Are we going to continue with the booklet theme? I see lots of thickness going on in there. Reed Detmers, we got Cal Rowley. And another booklet, Brandon Marsh. So if you love your booklets, Absolute is just going berserk with the booklets. A Brandon Marsh, and they're on card or on booklet autos. That's a nice one right there. Nice piece of the jersey. That is four booklets out of 50 on the Brandon Marsh. Good rookie, probably. Some of you might say the Joe Ryan, but that's probably one of the better ones so far. Paul Goldschmidt is the last one for Dellen. Let's continue on down the road here with this box. For Dellen, spot number three, box two. Bo Bichette, and it looks like maybe we finally don't have a booklet, or maybe we do. Shirt and Apostle, we got T. There's a, the Apostle is going to be an autograph out of 199 and Tools of the Trade, another autograph. So they are really loading up the autographs in this case out of 199 right there. And we also have a Josh Lowe out of 299. So maybe Panini was like, well, didn't really get a raving reviews on our absolute product last year so let's really kind of improve it let's put more autographs and let's just surprise them and instead of putting four autographs per box which is i mean i almost have to double check it says right here on the website two autographs two relics per box we are exceeding that in pretty much every box here's number four this is for michael good luck to you michael let's see if we can find another book that we're already at three so far, probably my favorite autograph was the Oral Hershizer. That was uh, kind of unexpected out of five. Oral Hershizer. Not a Hall of Famer, but he pitched a long time. He might be one of those guys that gets in there one of these days. I might want to go back and look at Burt Blylevin and toss him up against Oral Hershizer and see how they compare. Might be interesting. Because Oral Hershizer is not, at least for me, not that much worse than, oh boy. Oh, man, we got a kaboom right there. A Wander Franco kaboom. That is a case hit. You know about these kabooms, folks. And that is a good one. Wander Franco kaboom for Michael. Michael with a big hit right there. Congratulations, man. Uh, I'm almost tempted to go fire up eBay and see what that card goes for. Very nice hit right there. We've got a Tools of the Trade, Estevan Florial. We've got Andre Jackson out of 199, also autograph, and Adam Frazier. So another triple hit box for Michael with the big kaboom hit in there. Let's check your other box as well. Let's see what we have in box number four. We've got Roy Campanella on the back. And Derek is in the on-deck circle currently. 
So there's Albert Pujols right there, still in his Dodgers uniform. We got Luis Robert Jose Ramirez. Next up, we've got a nice dual relic of Casey Mize and Tarek Skubal. And our fourth booklet of the day, it's going to be Hans Kraus out of just 10. A Hans Kraus autograph. The booklet mania continues here. Typically, I, I don't remember there being this many booklets last year. I mean, I, maybe only one, if that, it seems like, that I can remember. I didn't go back and watch my 2021 absolute break of, of uh, this product, but that's a pretty good ratio right there. Four booklets and four boxes, averaging one booklet per box. Let's move into spot number five. This one is for Derek P. Good luck to you, Derek. Let's see what we can find here. Get your two boxes ready to go. Whoops. Get better hold of that Pujols one. The purple one, rather. I guess they both have Pujols on it. And see if we can find. It'd be nice to find an Albert Pujols booklet. So far, all the booklets have been the rookies, which is kind of expected. It'd be nice to find a big name Hall of Famer booklet or something like that. There's Ryan Sandberg and Wilson Contreras. And we've got a nice one coming up. It's Zimmerman and Strasburg. Nice dual relic right there out of 25. And our fifth booklet, it's Connor Seabold out of 50. Take a look at that one. Connor Seabold dual relic. These do look nice when they're on display if you want to put them on your mantle or whatnot. So five booklets. It's almost uh, becoming a common occurrence right now. Nice Wander Franco rookie class card right there as well. For Derek, let's check out your second box. Let me know in the comments how you have fared for your absolute box or case if you've opened this product up. Is there this just this many booklets? Kind of reminds me of uh, the one of one craziness with Archive Signature Series where we we're getting like seven or eight per case. And then people were like, oh, it's kind of typical with this product. Bud Selig? How about that? Former commissioner Bud Selig, he's a Hall of Famer. Not a lot of people like him just because I kind of presided over the steroid era, but that's a cool card right there in my opinion. We got a Tools of the Trade, Luke Williams, and Gavin Sheets, Rookie Force out of 99. So two more autographs in that mini box. We are pretty much pulling four autographs, um, I guess, per, per hobby box instead of the two. So Derek, another nice box for you. Here's box number six and seven. Both of these are going to be for James. So... Just do them at the same time, I guess. Good luck to you, James. Let's see if you can keep keep this booklet craziness coming out of you left and right. Sorry, I got distracted by some motion outside my window there. There's a cat kind of stalking around out there, probably looking for a mouse. Hopefully he finds one. All right, so James, spot number six. See what we can find here in this one. Looks like not a very thick pack. So probably no booklet in this one. Roger Clemens is on the back. We've got Mariano Rivera on the front. And there's Chris Bryant. Anthony Bender is going to be the autograph. Rookie Inc. card. We also have an auto, auto, auto Lopez auto. Numbered out of 199. Nice looking card right there. Dane Dunning is going to be the relic. It's numbered out of 99. Got a Billy Martin out of 199. There's Pujols and Musual. And we've got Scherzer and Clemens. Let's do the next one for James to see what we can find in this next one. A thicker pack right here. Possibly our sixth booklet of the day. We've got John Carlos Stanton on the back side. There's Luis Robert Aaron Judge, Jeff Bagwell, Hall of Famer Jeff Bagwell. For a second there, I was hoping it was going to be a autograph, but it's not a little maybe a little mark at the bottom there some of these cards aren't in the greatest condition coming out of these packs with uh you know that's a quality control issue just a couple corners here and there i've noticed this one's out of 30 it's camilo doval our sixth booklet of the day very nice card right there we've got tatis juan soto would love to find his autograph brandon lau and john carlos stanton let's check the other mini boxes for james from box number seven and see what we can find here. Got a thicker pack again. Probably another booklet. Shohei's on the back. Not having quite the same season that he did last year. Still 13 home runs ERA in the um, like 364, somewhere around there. We got a Barry Larkin Hall of Famer relic out of 49. Nice one right there. And 
<laughs> to Camilo Dov I guess I hope you love Camilo Doval James because you have another one of his autographs in a booklet two Doval booklets that one being out of 99 so we have seven booklets on the ledger right now one per box and let's see what we've got from this next one got Jose Abreu on the back, Shane Bieber. We've got Jake Woodford out of 75. Then there's AJ Alexi. And we've got Yohan Adon relic coming up right here out of 99. So there's your box, James. Two booklets in there, both for Camila Duvall. And now we're moving ahead to, we got three boxes left. So Chris is going to be up next at spot number eight. Best of luck to you here. See what we can find. By the way, also coming up this weekend at some point, I'm going to be doing the brand new Stay Classy packs. Remember those Stay Classy packs? They were five bucks and had an autograph in every single one. Well, he's upped it a little bit. They're ten dollars now a pack. However, instead of just one hit per per uh, pack, he's going to three. So it should be pretty awesome. I can't wait to check those out this weekend. But here's Chris. Thicker pack here, likely a booklet. All right, we got the Pujols on the front. There's Trevor Story out of 99. And a nice one here, Vlad Jr. and Bichette, dual relic, numbered one out of 199. If we had done this in a showdown, Chris, you'd be taking home the whole case. Out of 25, Gavin Sheets, nice one right there. Nice gold ink auto on the Gavin Sheets. We've got Corey Seager, Sandy Koufax, Mike Trout, and Manny Machado. I know a lot of people would like that Gavin Sheets, especially those White Sox fans out there. Let's check out Chris's next box and see what we've got in this one. Up to eight total booklets. Yelly's on the back. And let's see, we got Jose Miranda. That's going to be a triple relic auto out of 199. We've got Connor Wong, also an auto, 75. Out of 75, a blue. We've got Brent Honeywell now over with the Athletics. Number out of 199. Here's the rest of the box. Abreu, Gary Carter, Matt Brash, McGuire, and Christian Yelich for Chris. So we're down to just two boxes left on this new release preview day. Again, this came out on Friday, but just because of all the busyness around Top Series 2, I you know, figured, well, let's push it to Tuesday and uh, see what we can find. And so far, we've been finding lots of booklets, eight booklets already, and I'm assuming that's going to get to nine and then 10 here with the sample size that we've seen. All right, here we go. Spot number nine. Maybe we just got a hot case, I don't know, with all the autographs in here. So Adolfo, for spot number nine, this pack seems a little thinner, so can't guarantee a booklet out of here, I don't think. Let's see what we've got. There's Josiah Gray out of 99. Chuck Knobloch, former uh, Yankee and Twins second baseman out of 199. We've got Luis Frias, also an autograph out of 199. And a Trevor Rogers out of 49. Triple Relic. Babe Ruth there on the end. Let's check out the second box and see what we've got in here. Feels thicker. Here comes booklet number nine, I would imagine. Big Mac's on the back. We've got Bartolo Colon on the front. Here comes your first hit. Cedric Mullins and Ryan Mountcastle. Dual relic. That's a nice one right there. Nice looking card. And the booklet's going to be Josiah Gray out of 60. So a nice prospect, Josiah Gray. He's a rookie now, I guess. Josiah Gray for the Nationals. Dual relic booklet for Aldolfo. So we're up to nine booklets. Let's see if we can make it ten. One per box. It seems like we'd... we'd Probably get it right. So coming up last in the order here, batting tenth, like this is little league or something. We got William and our final one. So thanks very much everybody for being here today. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Like I said we got tons of videos coming up. We post videos every single day and also do several live streams throughout the week. Got a couple live streams coming up. Like I said today, I'll try to build the whole set with Timmy at Top Series Two tonight from one jumbo box and. I think tomorrow we'll do an auction, and I gotta head to the post office here in a bit and see if uh, if Jerry's stuff came in. I think it's gonna be a consignment auction with lots of good stuff from Mr. Jerry Fine, including I think he said there's 
at least one mantle in there. Uh, Mickey Mantle vintage card out of 25, Tyler O'Neill. Andrew Jones out of 199. Here's our final booklet. It's Aaron Aspie from the Brewers out of 60. So our 10th and likely final booklet to wrap things up. By the way, the backs of the booklets, in case you're wondering, just give you a little bit of information about each player. And now here we go, William. Last one of the video. Let's see what we can do. There you have it. That's one case of absolute. If you'd like to pick these up again, they're probably about 150 to 170 ish per box, depending on where you go. And you likely will see these on the shelves at some point, a retail version of them, as Absolute usually does go retail every year. There's Luis Heal out of 99 or 999, Brent Honeywell out of 199. We got Jake Berger, that is a triple relic auto. And final hit's going to be Austin Hayes, number out of 199. So Salvi Perez, Wilson Contreras, Matt Manning, and Manny Machado wrap up this video. So, William, thank you very much. And everybody out there, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Tuesday. Make sure you check us out a bit later. We're going to try to build the entire set from one jumbo box. It's not always able to be done, but it can be done. And it, sometimes you always just kind of skirt by by the, kin the very, very skin of your teeth on some of those cards. I know a lot of people say they usually come up two to eight cards short. We did it uh, a few months ago for Series 1. We did get it. We're going to try to do it again. So thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you a little bit later tonight. Have a great rest of your Tuesday, and I'll see you live a bit later. Good night, everybody.